Growing up, I have had different relationships with a variety of people. And one of those people is someone that I've known since I was a kid and we still hang out, we still talk and keep in touch. And we've grown to have an intimate adult relationship in some aspects. Now, a few years ago when I was in college, I remember we were doing things and it was, to me, it was really funny because he was like, Latia, could you stop looking like you are in pain? And I hadn't had much sex at that time. And he also is a very well endowed person, still is. And it's still a similar experience sometimes when we get together. And for me, I was just like, but it hurts. It, it feels a little bit uncomfortable and I just demote what I'm feeling. So sometimes it's gonna look like I'm in pain. Now, I don't share this story for like a sense of like fear or dread, but more from a sense of when we express what we're feeling and we're honest about it, it allows us the opportunity to address it, correct it, or push through it if that's what needed. But a lot of times we have the opportunity to make our engagements with other people very pleasurable and fun. And something that was coming up for me this morning is desire and feeling desirable, feeling wanted and attractive and magnetic that feeling where it's just like oh yeah you check me out i know it i can feel it and i love it i feel like that is what makes the difference with a lot of encounters that i have those moments where it just feels like oh you can't keep your hands off me because i'm so great versus those moments i don't know if i've had very many where it's just like no go away i don't want it i can't do it usually i'm like you know you're gonna have to convince me that i want to do it like prove to me that I'm in the mood, like make me beg for it, please. And then I'll be good. And I was talking with this person in particular and we were just discussing how sometimes I like to run away <laughs> when we're playing around because like, I just like being chased. And then when you're caught, it's just like fun. I was like, I would also like to explore my dominant side and being the more aggressive partner in a get together because most of the time he takes the lead and something that I've realized is that growing up, I always felt like there's a lot of pressure on men to make sure they have permission and they get consent and they're honoring that their partner is willing. And I feel like I've taken on a lot of that mindset because I don't want to pressure anyone into doing something with me. I don't want them to feel like there's no, there's not an option to say no. And I don't want to control people or force them into something they're not ready for because not everyone is ready for all of this magnificence that is me. And I know that I can be very greedy and very, I am just like eyes bigger than my stomach kind of person where it's just like, I want to soak in every moment, all the beauty, all the details, just let me sit and just process and like catch as much as I can. And that can be a lot <laughs> for myself. It's sometimes overwhelming and I get super saturated and don't even know it. And then for other people to receive because I'll be like, oh, did you see that little bitty detail? And people are like, no, I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. And I'm just like, oh, okay, my bad. I guess it was just me, that's cool. I'll just enjoy this beautiful sunrise and sky and you can just take it for granted. That's fine. That's how a lot of things go in life. Um, but what I realized is that when it comes to feeling desirable, especially as a woman, since I am one, that when I do it for myself, it is the most amazing feeling. And I've noticed that lately I've been doing it for, or that I have a tendency to hide my beauty or save it for special moments. And I was like, every day is a special moment. I am blessed to be alive. I am grateful to be here. And I have been blessed with a wonderful body. So let me celebrate all of this beauty and honor that I am blessed and gifted and I love myself and let me take care of myself by looking as beautiful as I feel on the inside. And that's just my fun way of getting ready. Another part of it is when you are free and at ease in your body with your movements and what you're doing and you know what you feel and you're embracing your truth, that is such a powerful thing to do because that freedom, that authenticity, that real and rawness Sometimes it can be awkward, but it's also the most wonderful thing that you can offer someone when you're just like, ah, I'm carefree and I'm dancing and I'm feeling it. It's like, oh, I see you feeling it. It's like, oh yeah, I'm in my zone. And I love those moments because 
I love to express myself. I love to dance. I love to connect and have fun. And the last bit is it doesn't matter how your partner feels sometimes because like if you're feeling you and you're radiating the energy, they feel it too. I feel like the biggest challenge that I've had over the last year with the job that I was in, oh yeah, I lost my job yesterday. So that was fun. <laughs> Actual fun. I'm really grateful for it. But in losing that job, I have had space within the last day to reflect on my experience. And I saw how I was sacrificing who I am, my needs, my beliefs, my faith in myself, my competence, my ability to get the job done in order to make other people feel comfortable with what I was doing and how I was showing up. So instead of me just being like, I'm Latia, this is what I do, this is how I roll. Yes, I will give you status updates when I'm ready. No, I will not give you status updates every time you ask, but I will get the job done if you like, leave me alone. I need some space to do my work. And they're like by the, within the last month, it's like I've gotten a new manager, but the manager is like an extension of the old one where there's this constant nagging. What are you doing? Where are you at? What are you doing? Where are you at? When are you going to update? Will you do this thing? Why aren't you doing this thing? You keep not doing this thing. Do the thing. And it's just like, the more you bug me, the less I'm going to do it. I have the ability to tune people out. And even if you are the person making the choice to just give me a paycheck, I don't care. It really does not work to keep bugging me to get my attention. I'm more of a give me space, let me miss you a little, and then I'll come to you like, oh, hey, what's going on? Like, I haven't talked to you in a while. That's crazy. Instead of it being like, good Lord, you're like riding my body. I have no space. I don't know what to do. Just, oh, get away from me. Get away from me. I hate your face now. I just don't like your face. Don't like your voice. I don't care about what your life is. I just, I just want you to leave me alone. Just go away. Just go away. That's how I get. I get very, I'm very much, um, I shut down and I need to process things. So I need space to like process and assess and understand my feelings. Because a lot of the times I've learned to shut them off and stop listening to them. Because growing up, feelings looked like they were bad. I've mostly seen people express their feelings in ways that hurt other people and made themselves look less credible rather than seeing people express them in ways that were connecting and inviting and allowed other people to nourish and meet those needs. So I've been emotionally neglecting myself for the last year, trying to like be there for this job, trying to figure out my emotions, trying to like do all these things. And in my high stress state, there were lots of times where I just could not even realize it was for nothing. It was like, I'm just focused on the wrong things. And now that I have that space to process and that space to really just sit with, I did not feel good. I did not enjoy that. I am not glad that I was in that situation. I am grateful that I went through it. I am grateful to learn and see that I tend to sacrifice myself and my needs for the greater good and my company and they don't deserve that. They're like, there was part of me that's like, oh, I'm earning this great paycheck. I need to do all this work. I got to do what they want. I got to conform to like make my paycheck and make them happy and like do all this stuff. And at the end of the day, it's like, so I have to stop being who I am in order to get a paycheck. And that doesn't work for me. And now I have a free space to start figuring out what is my next step? What do I really desire for my life? What is my intention? And in this moment, my highest intention is to connect with God on a deep and personal level and surrender my will to his so that I know the right next step for me. So that whatever next job I have, which I have an idea of what it's going to be, but I'm gonna take the next few weeks to really sit with it and process, digest, and just allow myself space to relax because I can be very intense. But I'm really grateful for the space that I'm in. I love feeling beautiful as I have been every day. I wore my super extra bright lipstick out of thankfulness and gratitude and celebration for the free space that has opened up in my life for me to focus on myself. No more on call, no more job where I'm just like ready to punch someone in the face and more time to just focus on nourishing, nurturing and loving myself as completely and totally as I am. Instead of me being like, oh my gosh, she did the wrong thing. It's just like, no, all love here. I'm so proud of myself. I love me so much. I'm so grateful to be me. God did a work on this wonderful human being here. And I hope you feel the same about yourself because you are also a gift from God. And I'm grateful that you chose to spend time watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, share, like, 
or subscribe and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.